So with all this madness regarding the presidential election and all of us losing our minds with, with all the COVID-19 stuff, I thought maybe I'd share some good vibes, a, a story with a happy ending. I was out hiking a little over a week ago with, with our two dogs, Ravioli and Ella. And we, were, we were headed up this old logging road up to going up into the woods when this Jeep came driving up the road, this gravel road. Uh, my big dog Ravioli's reaction was to just lunge at this Jeep while Ella, who's uh, about six months old, she was completely terrified. She somehow pulled herself out of her harness and she ran faster than I ever thought she was capable of and I couldn't get her to stop. She rounded a corner uh, and by the time I got to her, uh, just running flat out, she was gone. She was just completely gone. I called for her and called for her, yelled her name, all her little pet names and stuff. Um, I hiked 10 miles that day all around the area until dark. And finally, I just accepted that wherever she was, I, I wasn't gonna get her to come to me. I got home that night and my family, we all began doing all the things you do when you lose a dog. We started making signs and posts for social media. Uh, the next morning, we called all the shelters in Henderson County and Polk County. My wife and stepdaughter, uh, shout out to Sam, please go check out her art page on Facebook, at Sam Bullman Art. We'll put a link in the description. So they made a post to the Blue Ridge Humane Society's Lost and Found Facebook page, where this thing was shared almost 600 times. It was shared just from my music page as well, a hundred times. Uh, there were hundreds of comments offering advice and encouragement. It was really amazing to us. So I went back out to this area every day for seven straight days, usually a few times a day. I'd go drive out there and park and I'd walk and call her name. Uh, it seemed like every hiker that I asked if they'd seen this dog, they had heard about her through Facebook and saw all these, all these posts and there were people actually out there looking for us. It really restored my faith in humanity, the way everybody reached out about our dog. One person told me to put a shirt out there, so I, I took a dirty shirt of mine and a bowl of her food and to the spot that she left and I went to check it every day and every day it was completely untouched and it was just heartbreaking every time. Uh, one night the temperature got down to around 30 degrees and just the thought of her out there was just really heavy on our minds out there in the cold. Um, on the seventh day, this last Sunday, uh, I, I pretty much just decided to let her go that it was, we weren't gonna get her back. Uh, I went out there and I got the shirt and uh, the bowl of food. And that later that night I was at home, I was cutting my hair, when I hear my wife bounding down the hall and she told me that someone had actually found Ella, and I, I, could, I just couldn't believe it. This young guy was out in the woods. He was hunting out there at nighttime, several miles from where she ran off. And he got her to come to him, and she had her collar on, so he knew who to call and reached out to us. I went and got her, and she was super shaken up and scared, and she was even scared of me until I said her name, and then she started whining and just going completely nuts. Uh, they, they said that she hadn't made a sound until just, until just that moment. So I put her on her leash and she just ran toward the car. She wanted to get out of there so badly. I got her home and she was really excited to see everyone. Uh, she just bounced her all around and ran from one family member to the next. And she was whining and making all this noise from just excitement. <laughs> We gave her a bath and we fed her and then it was lights out time. She went to sleep. She even got to sleep in the bed with us that night. And normally we don't let them because there's two dogs. Uh, but I, I really think she earned it. Uh, she, was, she was really filthy. She was covered in all those seeds that stick to you. And she was a little banged up. Her ears were scratched up and stuff. But, and she's also lost quite a lot of weight. Uh, really a scary amount, really. I mean, she was out there for seven days. So we've been slowly working her back into her normal diet, and uh, but really she's already back to her old self. She's roughhousing with her other dog and playing and running around. Uh, it's really something. She's This little dog's only six months old and somehow she's survived out in these woods for seven straight days. And we're just so thankful for everyone's help and we're so happy to have her home. Thanks.